space. The final frontier. Home to many interesting and mysterious creatures. But we're not going to be encountering any, one, any of them in this video, I don't think. What's up guys, Reptad here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we wrapped up the Jeep Jungle with a bit of a special Thanksgiving episode. Sure, it was recorded before Thanksgiving, but it's a Thanksgiving episode because it was uploaded on Thanksgiving. Reminiscence. Anyway. So, we wrapped up the Deep Jungle, we took care of Clayton, who got turned into a Heartless, as well as his beast, the Stealth Sneak. Now, there are a couple things I will have to go over because... Well, we got some stuff before we left the Deep Jungle. But, for right now... We need to head back to Traverse Town. The thing is, once again, we just can't cut straight across through the middle of space and go here. We have to stop through Wonderland first. So, since this is going to be quite a bit of a flight, and we've kind of seen all these space routes already, pretty much, I'm just going to cut ahead and meet you guys when I make it back to Traverse Town, so we can get started with what we're actually going to do in this video, which is not spend all of it flying through space. So, I will see you guys in just a few... Well, I guess I'm in space, we'll just call it light years. Even though I, that's probably very wrong. Leon, I'm home! Don't ask why I thought that was a good idea to say, but anyway, we have finally arrived back in Traverse Town, we were, where we are supposed to be. God, so much flying! I'm actually kind of sick of space now. But anyway, um, before we actually get started with exploring through here, there is one thing I do want to cover quick, and that is the new Keyblade we got. The Jungle King. As you can see, it actually boosts our attack by two. It doesn't really deal a whole lot of critical hits, but it's got a long reach, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Jungle King as our new Keyblade. Did I get any new uh, equips? No, I did not. And... Oh, hey, Yuffie, what's up? Leon's probably at the Underground Cavern. It's in the alleyway. Fair enough. So, that is where we are heading. And before I forget... I do have one postcard, so let's mail it and get a cottage. That's nice. I'm sure I'll track down the other nine postcards eventually. Um, really quick, I want to stop in at the item shop, because I kind of need to get some things. I'm here to shop. I don't remember which one's which. They're, all I know is they're Donald's kids. They all look the same. Anyway. Let's go ahead and... Wow. My money situation is worse than I thought. I could have sworn I had a lot more, but... Whatever. So... That said, I got a couple high potions. Always good. So now... Let's head to this underground cavern. The thing is, though... As you'll notice once we enter the second district. The Heartless are still here! And we've got new ones, these yellow ones. They are yellow operas. They are the thundercasters of these flying elemental pains in the asses. In addition to casting the thunder spell, as you might expect, they can also electrify themselves and hurl them at you in a tackle-like move. I guess kind of like a little, what is it from Pokemon? Wild Charge, I think is what it's called? I don't know, I'm trying to remember Pokemon moves, and I don't know why. Anyway, we're here in the alleyway. Unfortunately, we are going to have to clear out all the Heartless in order to actually, uh... Do what we need to do. Because there's the, uh... Dead Ahead is what we need to break in order to get into the underground cavern where Leon is. The problem is, we can't do- we can't actually do what we need to do to break it, until there are no Heartless around. So how exactly do we break it, you ask? Well, as you might recall, we got a new Trinity after clearing Deep Jungle. We got access to the Red Trinity. The Red Trinity is a little group ram attack that will allow us to basically do things like break down all those iron bars that far off the underground cavern where Leon is. But of course, we can't use a trinity while we're in the battle, and 
We're in battle so long as these heartless are around. But now that they're gone, we can go ahead, head over here. Please tell me no more are going to pop up. Good. So you can finally see this red trinity in the water. If we use it... Heave ho! Into the secret waterway we go! So, after a brief bout of swimming, haven't swam in a while, we can get up on dry land. Oh great, a white trinity. Something else I'll have to come back for. Uh, really quick, as you might notice, we have a treasure chest back here. Three more Dalmatians to be found. And over here, there is nothing. Yet, anyway. But that's for later. So, uh, Leon, uh, buddy! Train hard? Talk with him, don't... Ugh. So, it's time we learned about keyholes. What are keyholes, you ask? Simply put, they lead to the heart of the world itself. So... The Heartless enter through the keyhole, and they basically rip apart and destroy the world's core. Destroying the entire world and plunging it into darkness. Take a guess at what happened to the Destiny Islands. So yeah, if you wanted to know, Sora, that's what happened to your, I your island. And why we need to use the Keyblade to lock the keyholes. Seeing other worlds would probably serve as well. Good idea. Sans, we're still looking for the king and Riku and Kairi. But, uh, there's one other thing we need to ask you about, Leon. This, uh, these Navajid gummies we've been finding. You know what they're all about? So, Leon has no clue, and Aerith is going to direct us to Sid. Meanwhile, we get this. Earthshine, a stone that holds mysterious power. What exactly is this thing, you ask? We're not going to find out for quite some time, so for now, don't worry about it too much. So anyway, Aerith said we need to go track down uh, Sid. And as you might remember, Sid is running the accessory shop. And I forgot to turn the brightness up on my TV screen again. I don't know how well it's going to come out in the recording, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to slip past these. Oh, there's another new one amongst them. I might as well point them out. The green ones are green requiems. They are the healers. So if you ever see green requiems, take them out first. But I'm done with them. So let's head in here. This is what I was trying to show when I was all the way back in uh, Traverse Town the first time. This is the Dalmatian's house, and this, of course, is where Pongo and Perdita live. There were other two Dalmatians, where there are 99 kids out of the 101 total Dalmatians are missing. And it's our job to track them down. Pongo and Perdita themselves are in the piano room. And as you might have guessed, we've brought back quite a few, so they are kind of scattered around the home now. Yes, Pongo? Oh, they got a gift for me for bringing some of them back. We haven't brought back them all yet, because obviously there's still places we haven't even visited. But, let's see what they've given us. Chiragaji! And a Firagaji. Not bad, not bad at all. But, our next stop needs to now be the first district once again, so we can head to the accessory shop. So, oh god, large body. Multiple large bodies, and there's, uh, green raccoons with them too. So, I'm just going to, no, not go there. I'm going to hop up on the ledge. The green raccoons will never attack you. Their sole purpose is simply healing. So, you don't have to worry about them unless, if they're all that's left. But obviously, if they're paired up with something, you're going to want to get rid of them. Now, really quick, there is actually a red trinity right here that we can take care of quick. I don't know how I forgot about this. 
and it breaks down a bunch of debris, and there now we got a shortcut into the alleyway. I probably could have shown that earlier, but meh. So anyway, into the accessory shop we go, because we need to track down Sid. So Sid, buddy, uh, we got some gummy pieces we need to discuss. Yeah, we're clueless about navigation gummies. You don't need to snap at us, Sid. I know space ain't a playground, as much as people think it is. Nice response, Sora. Anyway, uh... Yeah, Sid is going to give us a helping hand in terms of our gummy situation. So essentially, all the Navi-G gummies we've been collecting... They can take us to new worlds, so obviously we're going to want them on our ship. And Sid, he can install it, but he's got something he needs to deliver first. Just a book. Really old book, and it was falling apart, but he put it back together. And he wants us to deliver it. It's the old house in the third district. Look for a big fire sign. So we will put that on our to-do list. What the hell? Belt at Gizmo Shop is ringing. The Gizmo Shop? He says to deliver the book for him first. We don't actually have to uh, deliver it right away. He says stop by the house in the third district when we're done, so we'll find him there. Uh, hey, this Moogle, what do you got? A big tournament is being held somewhere. Uh, that actually relates to something I will deal with later. But we've taken care of quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it's been quite. Quite a bit of time has passed, so I think I'm going to stop here. So, we've returned to Traverse Town. We've talked with Leon and learned about the keyholes. We've talked with Sid, and we've learned about navigation gummies, and he's going to install the ones we have on our ship for us. So, we can go to New World after this. But we aren't quite done in Traverse Town just yet. And the next episode, hopefully we will get that all wrapped up. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been Rupped at. And I'll see you guys next time when we explore more of Traverse Town, specifically the ringing bell at the Gizmo Shop, because it does have a purpose. So, I will see you guys then.